Hello, my wonderful Librans. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay. Sorry about the uh, sirens, guys. <clears throat> okay. So we have distant horizons, okay? Well, initially, or what I'm getting here, guys, is for some of you, this is a long distance union. So you may, um, this could be someone who's creating some sort of travel plans or they want to feel closer to you. But if it's not a long distance union, I could definitely be picking up on emotional distance here. Okay, so they are acknowledging that there is distance between you both, but there's something about wanting to feel closer. Okay. And you know, intuitively, I'm picking up on someone who's trying to make a decision, but they do feel that they need to make this decision on their own. So like some sort of critical thinking taking place um, in solitude. I also am picking up on an energy of someone who is having visions of the both of you together. The second thing that I'm seeing here, guys, is this is an individual who is wishing that things have transpired in a different manner. So they're being reminded of how things have occurred between the both of you in this bond. And then they're kind of like repainting the picture into how they wanted things to uh, progress between the both of you. Okay, so let's see here. So we have the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck, and then we have the High Priestess. This is someone who is still thinking about you and sitting in some sort of regret. More than that, guys, with the Eight of Cups and the High Priestess, <clears throat> this may be an individual who walked away from you. It could have been a case of ghosting because the High Priestess could be what you don't know or something that happened in almost like a silent manner. Okay, so they are really observant of you, but the high priestess is a very submissive energy. It's like allowing things to happen, but not really reacting to it. But what's really impacting them emotionally is how things ended or the fact that they walked away from you is affecting them, but they're keeping it to themselves. Um, this card is also symbolic for silence. So it could just be confirming that you're not speaking to this person this week. Um, I'm going to start off by seeing how they're viewing you. They're viewing you as very guarded, Libra. I do feel that you have set very clear boundaries uh, with this individual here because they're viewing you as someone who doesn't currently trust them. But they also feel like you're not really going to um, let them in at this time. So yes, there may be a discomfort with being vulnerable, but they view you as someone who just doesn't want to speak to them, very guarded. Uh, you have set very clear boundaries here, and it's because you don't trust the situation. Okay. They're also viewing you as someone who's standing your ground because the Seven of Wands does speak about, you know, um, standing your ground or, you know, standing by what you said, even during, uh, you know, a time of adversity. So there could be something that you and this person have disagreed on, but they feel like you're not going to agree just for the sake of making them feel better, or you're not going to agree just for the sake of, uh, you know, making things better between the both of you. It's like you meant what you said and you're sticking by it. So they feel like even if it makes them upset, you're not willing to change it because that's just who you are, or that's just a deal breaker for you is how they're viewing you. So we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands in the challenge position. Yeah. This person feels like the ending between the both of you was extremely painful with that Ten of Wands energy. And I also feel, guys, like with the Queen of Pentacles, they're viewing you as someone where there was a lot of, um, or they did invest a lot of their energy, a lot of their time into this connection. So they're paying attention to their, um, you know, investment in this connection, of course, but they, they're also viewing you excuse me, sorry guys, I have the hiccups, but they're also viewing you as um, an ideal partner. It's just they are really upset about how things have ended. 
And I did say as I opened your read, I was getting this energy of this person looking at the situation and saying, well, this is how it happened, but this is how it should have happened, or this is how I wish it would have happened, right? So I feel like they, they're still focused on you because they feel like they have invested a lot of time in this connection and they feel like you guys have gone through a lot together, but there's something about this ending that feels very burdensome, okay? They are also viewing you as someone who's very stressed out, but you're carrying all, um, you know, the stress or all the responsibility on your own. So they feel like you're going through this ending on your own. You're not really reaching out to them or you're not really asking for any sort of help. And they may feel, they may view you as someone who's very drained or emotionally exhausted this week. The way that you're viewing them, Five of Cups, you definitely miss this person, but I think that the missing is turning into a level of disappointment. It's like, yes, I miss you and yes, I'm feeling nostalgic, but I'm also very disappointed in you or I'm disappointed in how things have happened between the both of us. So this week you may feel like you're really focused on, uh, you know, spilled milk. It could be a little bit of a heavier week for you, um, specifically emotionally, because not only are you reminded of this person, um, and, and keep in mind, guys, we are in a, a period of retrograde, so it could be that you have a lot of suppressed emotions resurfacing or you're feeling these emotions much more heavily than you usually do. Um, so keep that in mind. But with the Five of Cups, not only are you being reminded of this person, again, I do feel like you're missing them, but the missing is, you know, turning into a level of disappointment, kind of like, I, you know, I do miss you, but I'm really upset with how things have transpired between, uh, you know, us both here. I also feel, guys, there's an energy of you viewing this individual as someone who has let you down emotionally. So you could be reminded of like the promises that they've made you or the things that they said that they were going to do to emotionally fulfill you, but you feel like they did not follow through. So we have the Hierophant in your feelings. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus and or a Scorpio, the Tower, yeah. For some of you, this separation could be very recent. If it's not recent, there's something that felt very like um, abrupt or unexpected about it. Um, the Hierophant and the Tower is a higher level of commitment coming to an end abruptly. For some of you, this could have been marriage, um, but you know that's not going to be the case for all of you. With the Tower, you feel like things ended very abruptly. And even if you feel like it wasn't unexpected to disagree on something, you do feel like it was unexpected to stop speaking to this person as a whole or end up in a separation. So, you know, for some of you, you have been in, in a commitment with this individual, although you feel like you guys were always able to work through your differences, or even if there was a conflict, you know, you guys would somehow work it out, but you did not expect things to completely end and for you to end up in a period of separation with this individual here. You're also having a realization about this connection. This is, um, you know, higher learning. So it could be that you are, um, whether it's like something intuitive that you're picking up on where it's like, okay, this is why I met this person, or this is the lesson behind, uh, you know, this very thing, or some of you are studying this person in terms of like their behavior. Like some of you may notice some repetitive behavioral patterns or certain things that have happened in this connection here. And you're quite literally, you could quite literally be researching it or learning more about it. So it's either you're quite literally studying this person or this connection, or there's something that you intuitively feel and you are learning the lesson behind this connection here but I do feel like it's more of a like a heavier week for you emotionally the chariot some of you could be dealing with the cancer and the ace of wands some of you could be manifesting a new beginning here because there is some sort of passion that you still feel but with the chariot it could also just be just wanting some sort of progress maybe what's really bothering you here what I see in the cards is just things feeling stagnant and stuck for a very long time where you could be manifesting a conversation and it could be like okay I at least want to speak to you or I at least want to break the silence so that um, you know it doesn't feel as bad as things just remaining stuck between us both. So you're definitely wanting to see some sort of progress, but you also feel like the ending was very unexpected. A part of you may feel like you guys are able to work through what has happened, but then a part of you is also still feeling very drained and emotionally exhausted. It's like if I put forth all the effort or if I decide to work on this connection, is it going to result in more pain or is it actually going to be a positive outcome? 
Chariot and the Ace of Wands could also be you manifesting a new beginning elsewhere where it's like, you know, please, uh, you know, divine or, or my belief system, give me the strength to move past this connection. It, it is taking an emotional toll on me, but I'm ready for some sort of a change. So you could be doing something to take this off of your mind. So Ace of Wands doesn't really need to be a new beginning in love. It could just be like traveling or, um, you know, booking a vacation or hanging out with your loved ones, something exciting to help you um, ease the pain a little is what I see because a chariot and the ace of wands is like I really want to move on from this or I really want to um, let go of the pain that I feel I want to feel happy again I want to feel excited again I want to feel like um, that it's almost like I, I don't want to say you want to feel a spark again but you may not feel like yourself this week and you're really tired of it it's like I want to feel excited again or I want to feel like myself again I don't want to feel uh, you know like I'm, um, you know, emotionally drained or I'm feeling a lot of pain. So the Queen of Pentacles is being clarified by the Four of Cups and the Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups, yeah. This person feels like you make them extremely happy. Nine of Cups is someone viewing you as wish fulfillment, but when you have the Four of Cups here, guys, there is an energy of this person, you know, fantasizing and, and, and you know, having visions about the both of you, but the Four of Cups is not really an action-oriented energy. The reason why is because that energy stems from a space of um, being in your thoughts, yes, but you're actively focused on the past or the future a little too much where you're not focusing, you know, on the present or what you could do in the current moment. I also feel like, yes, they are very upset because the Four of Cups speaks about um, not being happy in your current circumstances, but they're having a hard time taking some sort of action towards you. And Nine of Cups and the Ten of Wands is, um, you know, this person acknowledging that you are someone who makes them very happy, but the ending or how things have ended between the both of you is very um, painful for them. So in their feelings, we have the devil. Hmm. Okay. You guys could be dealing with the Capricorn and we also have the Seven of Swords. Aries pulled these two cards as well. So you may have Aries placements in your chart or maybe you're involved with one. Um but it was like reverse. They got the seven of swords being clarified by the devil. But here we have the devil being clarified by the seven of swords. Okay. So what I'm seeing here, guys, is this person is definitely <clears throat> battling some sort of insecurities. Okay. The devil could be read in many different ways. But when you have the seven of swords, it usually talks about what they're not telling you or some sort of dishonesty. Okay. This person feels like they have been very strategic with you or they were able to keep something under wraps until they were not. Right. So... For some of you, it's like, that's why we have the tower in your feelings because it's feeling like things were, you know, smooth sailing. And then it could have been unexpected news that led to a separation or something that you just figured out about this person. This may be someone who wants to create some sort of change in their lifestyle, but when you have the devil and the seven of swords upright, it does let me know that they're having difficulty making those changes this week. So if it's not addictions, it's like a lifestyle change or they feel like they are very non-committal or they have been very dishonest, even if they were in a committed relationship with you. This could quite literally be someone stepping out on a connection. Seven of Cups, yep, and the Star. They do want to heal things with you. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the Seven of Cups speaks about a lot of emotional confusion. Stuck in visions of the both of you together is what I see, but there's also an energy of feeling like there were a lot of mixed signals that they were sending you. This person does not feel stable mentally or emotionally this week. And again, guys, I'm not diagnosing your person with anything. I'm just reading the energy. It's someone who doesn't feel stable, and that's why this boils down to emotional confusion with the Seven of Cups and feeling like, I don't know what to do next. Like, this person feels like they ruined a really good thing based off of their actions and they're acknowledging that. But I don't want to say that they're stuck in their ways, but they're definitely having a hard time creating the necessary changes in order to come together with you. And the star card does speak about this person acknowledging that you are very special to them. I don't think that... Um, they don't know that. I believe that they think you're very special. I believe that they view you as wish fulfillment. It's just there are internal changes that they need to make or the dishonesty is something that is really hard to uh, forgive or they feel like it's it's really difficult to repair that or reverse the effects of that. And so with the seven of cups, it's like, you know, I'm stuck, um, you know, with visions of us together, but what do I do? you know, um, feeling defeated because they're very confused when it comes to their next steps. And it's because they don't feel like they're in a stable space to figure out what they should, uh, you know, do here. 
So we have the Nine of Pentacles in the potential outcome and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. What's the Nine of Pentacles? The Two of Swords. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Libra, now I'm just going to be completely transparent here, guys. Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles could be read as someone who is like coming in and communicating with you about a commitment, um, you know, because it is coming up in the potential outcome. But what I see it as, because that's why I clarified both cards, is you're manifesting something new for yourself, okay, Libra? And with the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, what's going to happen in the potential outcome here, or what I see in the cards, is someone being very stressed out about you, okay? So I do see them stressing out about, you know, your whereabouts or what you're up to or if you're investing in something new. But this person, they may have to watch you be treated, you know, the way that you're deserving by someone else. So this person may be watching you in another connection. Because nine of pentacles lets me know in the potential outcome, you're going to choose to focus on yourself. Ten of pentacles is a very stable commitment, but nine of swords is clarifying it, which means it's going to stress this person out. That's a very specific message. But for some of you, you're going to be in a new connection or um, you may be connecting with someone new and it's visible to this person and they're stressed out about it. But nine of swords is when you're sitting with your worries. You're not necessarily doing anything about it. And two of swords and the nine of pentacles in the potential outcome is you at a crossroads deciding, okay, do I continue to invest in the situation and give this person my time and believe in them? Or am I feeling very doubtful where I need to move on and manifest something new for myself? But there's a very specific message coming through about this person. Um, you know, either you're in another connection and it's visible to them or what they couldn't do for you, someone else is going to do for you. But somehow it's visible to them or they're able to, um, they somehow figure it out and it stresses them out here. I also feel, guys, like with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, this person may have some sort of commitments also that they that are bothering them. So something that they feel entitled to, but they don't necessarily feel happy doing it. Hmm. Okay, let's see what they want to communicate to you. I just feel, especially with the chariot and the ace of wands in your feelings, you're manifesting something new for yourself. And as you enter a connection that seems to be very stable, potentially even could lead to marriage with the ten of pentacles, it's stressing this person out because what they couldn't do for you, someone else is. And you may feel a deep, intense connection with this person, but devil and the seven of swords and their feelings is them being aware that they're not being completely transparent with you. Okay, so let's see. What do they want to communicate to you? I miss being with you. Okay, so definitely missing you, feeling very nostalgic here, but very confused on what they should do. It seems to me like it could be, you know, I don't want to say it's a case of karma, but really it's like someone who has put you through a lot is going to watch someone else cherish you. I still feel the pain. So yeah, they're definitely hurt. And I think that they're also not feeling the most stable. Like emotionally with the seven of cups. I need security. So they may feel like something about this connection wasn't stable. This could also be someone who's battling insecurities. I did mention that with the devil card. Like for some of you, it may have been a connection where there were a lot of assumptions or um, this person needed constant reassurance. And maybe that was something that, uh, you know, was creating a block here, especially if it was assumptions or accusations. I trusted you. Okay. So this person may feel like they no longer trust you. Um, and again, guys, I'm not here to play uh, the blame game, but it could be someone who feels like there's a lack of trust on their end as well. Okay, and then bottom of the deck, it says, I want to start over. I do believe they want a new beginning here. I just feel like they're confused when it comes to how to go about it. And it's because they're more stuck in their thoughts and their habits um, instead of, you know, figuring out how to create that change. And I'm not saying it's easy to create that change. The devil could be something that's very difficult to overcome, even though you know it's toxic or not good for you. So let's see what needs to be surrendered in this connection.
Surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. So this is a situation that is going to require you to be a bit more open-minded. You may be able to solve um, you know, an issue here <clears throat> or find a solution, but it may be in a different manner or something that you're not used to. It seems to me that if you want to create some sort of a change in this bond, the approach has to be different. And this could be a message for your person with the devil and the seven of swords where it's like, okay, well, you know, this is bothering you or, you know, this is not right. But if you continue to do things the same way that you are used to doing things, then there's not going to be a change here. So this could be a period of release or realizing, okay, I do need to change this or I do need to let this go in order for this connection to actually work out. <clears throat> Something about, you know, uh, remaining open-minded here. So let's see if I can get a closing angel message for you guys. Be assertive. Is this situation really serving you? Um, and if there's something that you're standing by, which I did say with this um, this person viewing you in the Seven of Wands energy, it's not about giving into a situation just because the opposing party um, may want you to. It's Is that, you have to be asking yourself, is that really what you want for yourself? Is that something that goes against your beliefs? And are you just agreeing to agree? Or, you know, do you actually mean it? So there's something about kind of like standing your ground or standing by what you said and following through on that and not giving into a situation that seems to be your angel answer here okay so my wonderful Librans, that is what i'm getting for you this week i really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today and uh, thank you so much for your time